In the Understanding Curves course, we learned how to display and evaluate curvature and how that can be used to evaluate the quality of a curve. In this video, we will learn how to analyze and evaluate a surface by using curvature visualization. OnShape provides two methods of determining curvature on a part, a color map and zebra stripes. The color map makes it easier to identify and evaluate different curvature conditions using a number of different curvature scales. Gaussian curvature can be used to identify hot spots in the curvature caused by saddles or domes. Mean curvature helps to identify areas of sharp contrast in curvature, while max and min radius help to find outliers that could lead to visual defects or difficulties in manufacturing. Each curvature scale can also be displayed in one of four color scales, viridis, blue to red, plasma, and rainbow. The plots may also be probed to determine the exact value at any point on the model. This guitar body has a domed back that is difficult to evaluate in a shaded view. Using curvature visualization and a color map, it's much easier to see the shape and curvature of the domes. Switching through the different scales also reveals some asymmetry, suggesting that a different modeling approach may be required. Zebra stripes are a diagnostic tool that simulate how light reflects off of a surface. This measurement is used to determine surface quality and the continuity from one surface to the next. Continuity G0, or connected, is displayed as stripes that meet at an edge but offset from each other. Continuity G1, or tangent, is displayed as lines that meet at an edge without an offset. G2, or curvature continuity, is displayed as lines that flow smoothly across the edge. To enable zebra stripes, select the drop-down from the View Options in the Graphics area and select Curvature Visualization, then Zebra Stripes. The model may be repositioned to change the lighting angle for the measurement. The zebra stripes also allow the density of the stripes to be adjusted by increasing or decreasing the stripe count. The Flip Stripes option flips the direction of the stripes when necessary for better visualization. Edges can also be shown or hidden with the Show Edges option, allowing for closer inspection and a clear display of surface transitions when evaluating surface continuity. In this example, a lofted surface is used to bridge the handle to the housing. Notice how the lines are mismatched when the start and end profile conditions are not set to curvature or tangency. Changing the end condition to tangency matches the lines to one another, but the lines veer off in a sharp direction. Setting the end conditions to match curvature matches the lines where the two surfaces meet but gradually change direction for a smooth transition.